I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you personally for all the wonderful messages of support and for your understanding whilst I've been recovering from surgery. It has been an incredibly tough couple of months for our entire family, but I've had a fantastic medical... Can't lie. I don't care. I just don't care. Is that a bad thing? I just don't care, man. I just don't care. I can't summon up any empathy for some strange reason. For some strange reason, I feel disconnected from Kate Middleton and her battle with cancer. I just don't know why. Why I can't find the fucks to give. All human life is sacred, precious, a gift from God, the very breath of God, the rook, you know, spirit of life is, is a tremendous thing. But when I think about the royal family, the British royal family, when I think about the blue-blooded elites, the draconian rulers of this current world order. I find it very hard to summon up sympathy. You know? When I think about the atrocities committed around the world in the name of the empire, the British empire, in the name of the West, Europe, I feel like their upper class or their ruling classes are so removed from humanity and what it means to be a common person, to be an average person that, you know, I struggle to, I struggle to see them as fellow humans. I don't know Kate Middleton. I've never linked her. I've never had a conversation with her. But I stand on this. In these end times, there's many tricks. There's many ploys to try and draw your energy and draw your thought process in one way or the next. Before you start feeling waves of sympathy, empathy, sadness... for the royal family knock on your neighbour's door and check that they're alright phone your auntie that you ain't spoken to phone your daughter that you've not spoken to phone your dad phone your mum phone your brother your stepbrother your brethren that you ain't spoken to because of that beef because of that conflict see how they're doing yeah check on the person next door to you and across the road if you can gather up empathy for the common man on the roadsides once we're done loving each other, caring for each other, empathising with each other and assisting each other, then I think we can turn to these ruling elites and maybe offer them the compassion that they never showed us. Not genuinely. I don't mean kissing babies and hugging grandmas for photo opportunities or getting your name listed down as the head of a charity so that um, your Freemasonical duality work is, is completed. I'm talking about genuinely caring about people. Don't give me no fake Princess Diana shit. None of this. I'm talking about real earthy people down to earth that you can reach out and touch and talk to. Yeah? You owe it to them. You owe it to your fellow man. To give them the empathy. To give them the sympathy. Right about now. Anybody that's watching this and thinking, oh my God, Kate, it's so bad. Like, you're lost. But you've been lost. And there's no saving you. Just wood for the fire. And quite frankly, I wouldn't have it any other way. Because we can't all be woke out here. We can't all be enlightened. And we can't all be against the system. So I get it. Some of you lot are lemons, NPCs. And this is the type of thing that you care about. But I see the wickedness. You know, I see the wickedness. I'm going to listen to some more. i got nothing personal against Kate Middleton. But fuck the royal family.
you, who have taken great care of me, for which I'm so grateful. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful, however, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised... I don't know what her medical team advised, because the sound cut out. She's just chatting. So, yeah, but on uh, this post, it says something about 22nd of March, 2024, Princess Catherine realises she has cancer or releases she has cancer. And also, on the same day, uh, they they announced the world's first lung cancer vaccine or charge for it or something like that. People... We're living in some treacherous times, man. I don't wish death or pain on anybody. But I have to reserve my energy and my concern for my people, even though most of you people are sheep and you probably want to see the real ones deceased. But either way, man, if I'm going to give sympathy or empathy, it's going to be to my fellow man. It ain't going to be to no ruling class because we shouldn't be getting ruled. We shouldn't be having our mentals governed. But that's another conversation for another day. Sunday, it's your boy Jeds. I'm out. Scuggle.